Good day students, welcome to madgodserve.com. In this clip, we're going to be taking a look at how to generate a cone by rotating um, right triangles. We're going to be using a nicely created GeoGebra visualization created by Soberera. Alright, so the question reads, as shown in the diagram below, right triangle ABC has side lengths 8 and 15. Question, if the triangle is continuously rotated about um, AC, so basically this is the axis of rotation, the vertical height here, AC, the resulting figure will be, is it going to be a right cone with radius 15 and height 8, a right cone with a radius of 8 and height 15, a right cylinder with a radius of 15 and a height of 8, or a right cylinder with a radius of 8 and a height of 15. So there are two um, solids that are presented here, a right cylinder or a right cone. So if we rotate this right triangle around this axis, AC, what kind of solid do you uh, visualize um, resulting? All right, so let's take a look at this nice GeoGebra visualization created by Subarera. Um, if you want to access it, that's the URL right there. Um, so here's your right um triangle and what we're going to do is we're going to rotate it about this height right here okay I assume that this is the AC that we're talking about now when we uh, rotate that triangle about that axis what is the resulting shape bam see that that's amazing right bam what kind of shape is this this ladies and gentlemen is a right cone all right so we do not get the right cylinder by rotating a triangle. If you rotate a um, rectangle, okay, about one of the sides, then it's going to result in a right cylinder. But if you rotate a, a right triangle, you're going to get a right cone. Alrighty. All right. So we just copied the triangle that we created, the right cone that we created um, onto our worksheet here. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and eliminate options 3 and 4. So our options are either 1 or 2, right cone with radius 15 and height 8, or right cone with radius 8 and height of 15. So if we take a look at the original diagram that we were given, um, this vertical side as AC. Let's make it black. AC is a vertical side AC all right so this is a 90 degree angle so we know that this is going to be eight units so right here will be eight units long and uh, this side right here is going to be um, 15 units long okay so for this cone this right cone that we have this side right here this segment AC represents the height of the cone all right so the height of the cone is going to be eight units long, all right? And then right here at the bottom, this portion right here, look at this, this is a circle at the base, right? And then if you, the segment that connects the center of a circle to the circumference is known as a radius. So this right here is the radius. So the radius is 15, all right? So height of eight, radius 15. So let's look at the options, a right cone with um, a radius of 15 and a height of eight. So the correct answer is option number one. All right, so remember that when you wanna generate a right cylinder, you rotate a square or a rectangle that'll generate a right cylinder for you. But if you wanna generate a right cone, you rotate a right triangle like we have here. All right, so that's that. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. Really appreciate it. Don't forget to help support our channel. Tons of support resources can be found on mathgodserve.com. Do check it out. If you have any questions about what we went over or any geometry concepts in general, specify it in the comment section below, and we'll be glad to support you. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.